Store shelves nationwide are totally empty. Hey everyone, it's Carol. Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. The Carol Baskin. The nation erupted into scenes of chaos. The country will go into a complete lockdown. A state of emergency was declared in Australia overnight as firefighters continue battling massive out-of-control brush fires. It was an Iranian missile that brought down that passenger jet that crashed outside Tehran. The impeachment trial of the U.S. President Donald Trump is about to kick off in earnest. President Trump is charged with abusing power by pressuring Ukraine to investigate his Democratic rival, Joe Biden. That whole thing is a total hoax. The Chinese city of Wuhan and nearby towns locked down. 25 million people effectively quarantined and nervous. Now a newly published paper strongly suggests the original source of this virus was bats. The UK has left the European Union. 47 years of history brought to an end in the name of sovereignty and independence. The greatest moment in the modern history of our great nation. Thank you. The forecasters had predicted that Storm Kira would pack a punch, and for much of the country, that's been borne out. The cost and impact of the floods has been devastating. Two months since COVID-19 spread out of Wuhan, Italy is silent. The north of this country is on lockdown. This is the New York Stock Exchange. The trading day is just beginning on Wall Street and there are fears that the Dow will drop and drop quickly. All Premier League and English Football League and Women's Super League matches being postponed until April 3rd at the earliest. Well, the Norwegian FA have just uh, confirmed that the European Championships this summer will be postponed until 2021. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. I urge you, at this moment of national emergency, to stay at home, protect our NHS, and save lives. Our chance now to join you in giving a heartfelt thank you to our incredible NHS workers for everything they're doing. Wherever you are, stop for five minutes now and show them some love. I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. Uh, Downing Street has just confirmed that the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has tested positive for coronavirus. The Prime Minister has been admitted to hospital in what's being described as a precautionary step. Boris Johnson has been admitted to intensive care. Police are investigating a series of arsons and it could be linked to a conspiracy theory that connects 5G technology with coronavirus. There have been violent scenes across the United States in response to the death of a black man, George Floyd, in police custody. You can see police here now firing tear gas into the crowd. Bringing joy and hope to the nation one step at a time. Captain Tom Moore is about to reach his goal, 100 laps of the garden to raise money for the NHS. 13 and a half million is a sum that's difficult to, to get your, your head around. And the global death toll from COVID-19 is now past half a million. 
the number of infections has passed 10 million. The capital, Beirut, has been hit by a massive explosion. Better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. The virus is spreading even faster than the reasonable worst case scenario. And so now is the time to take action because there is no alternative.